What's up, buddy? Can you hear me? Yep. You were supposed to let me know when you were ready to get on. This is me letting you know. You're such a prick. Hold on one minute, okay? One minute, pricky. This is me letting you know I'm in the big shot, Bobby Big Boy. <laughs> It's the big shot. Hey fuckers, it's Friday. Can't spell shattered without shat or turd. Like a gut punch to the apple. Some of the funniest shit on the web. I call it a rock friend. I like the cut of your jib, gentlemen. These five are the only protection we have. Best part of the show is the genuine Hasbro love. And of course, that's the weekly part. Breaking news. It's very outside of the box. Hey, old days. I love Brad. Bob's bait and tackle now carrying Hasbro. They truly are your favorite podcast, favorite podcast. Thoughts, prayers, likes, and shares. Shout out to the A to B. Shattered Cups Uncuts. Is that you? You. Shattered Cups Uncuts. When are you going to bring Larry back? My favorite Star Wars podcast. Shattered Cast Uncuts. With complete fuckers. Podcast is intended for mature audiences only, and its sole purpose is to entertain. If it doesn't fit with your sensitive sensibilities, please feel free to turn it off now and share the fuck up, Chip. Welcome to Shattered Cast Uncut, episode 276. We have a skeleton crew tonight. <laughs> it's just me, Robert D. Tolf. Just kidding. We also have Bobby Skullface with us tonight. Hey, hey. hey, hey. And Greg for Mercy. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Justin T2Arc6 and Matthew Deluxe Baldwin decided to hook up somewhere in the Ozarks, and they are currently 69ing in a mud puddle like two disgusting uh, guinea pigs. Wow, um, yeah, that's pretty that's a, good over the top. Yeah, that's that's a nice image. Just picture Justin and Matthew sixty nine. Uh, I'd rather not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it works for a Wookiee too. Uh, so how's everybody doing? Huh? Good man, hanging in there, trying to play catch up. Um, yep. almost, almost there. You playing Heinz? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Almost there. <laughs> what about Hunts? You down with Hunts? I think by Tuesday I'll be good. You done with? You, are you down with hunts or is it just? No, nah, I don't. You know I don't fuck with that. If, if you have a hunts and you have a cookout, like one of you fucked up. <laughs> so wait, hold on. If we got a cookout and we got burgers, mm-hmm. right? And we actually have burgers, by the way, right? Mm-hmm. We have burgers for mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I get it. <clears throat> Two way street. So, and there's there's hunts on the table, and uh-huh. there's no cheese on a burger. It's uh-huh. just a, are you just gonna eat a plane or are you not gonna eat at all? I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing He's my like, shit, and I'm, like, I mean, not at your house, because, I mean, I came all the way to New York, obviously, so, like, but, yeah, I'm not eating. Or I would go down to the store, because I'm sure you got one in walking distance, and I would buy some proper ketchup. Like, mustard, fuck around all you want. Ketchup, let's not play games. We live in a civilized society. Let's act like it. Well, well, you, know, you, could, you could leave places by putting your mask on backwards, and nobody would know you're leaving. <laughs> He'd be like, Bobby's getting smaller, but he's on the backwards man, on the backwards man. man. So well, I, I, think, I, think if I, I think if I fed you disgusting hamburgers, you'd eat them anyway. That seems to be what you do when I cook for you. Uh, it's 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 a case by case basis. I have I have some fair home training and manners that people don't give me credit for. So what are you saying, Greg? Oh, I just want to say uh, the the only thing about mustard is the vinegar and water ratio. Well, so you got to have a yellow, and then you can have all the wild ass shit you want. But like, I'm okay if you have the store brand yellow and French's. Like, I'm I'm good with either. Yeah, exactly, exactly. exactly. But, it's, it's the water and vinegar ratio. But the ketchup, come on, come on, okay, you so, you know better. You so know you better. Have, let's say there's a hot dog in front of your face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's, That's a small trick question coming up. Do you put do you put ketchup on it or hot, or or uh, mustard? Uh, oh. mustard. Now, yeah. if I have, I've got four options for you: mustard, yellow mustard. Call it French's. You get the French. You get the good stuff. That's French's. It. That's the answer. Really? Yeah. You don't put the 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 I, brown I, I, spicy I brown I, mustard. I only know how to speak English, Robert. That's the only way I know how to say it. That's the answer. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm, you don't need English. Okay. <laughs> We what, have just thing. French's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. We, we have a thing here in Ohio called Stadium Mustard. I don't know if that's like a stadium. a national thing. Yes, yeah, Stadium Mustard. Okay. All right. Like, I'm, it, I'm rolling. 
There's a it's a brand there's a brand, but it's actually called Stadium Mustard. Uh huh. Um, and it's just fucking huge around here. Is it's it like a bad. yellow mustard? No, it's like a Dijon. Ah, uh, I see. But not as like it's a brown mustard, but it's not all hoity toity. Um, it kind of tastes like a yellow mustard. Mm-hmm. But um, I feel like for I the brown some... you can go nuts. Like I feel like almost for the brown, it's it's host's choice for the brown mustard, like for the Dijon, like whatever your mustard of choice is, like it's acceptable. Well, I got some damn Bahama Mamas. You don't know what those are, Mm-mm. but they're sitting in the fridge right now. I think I, I'm going to tear them up after the show. And I kind of feel like it's the same for mayonnaise. Like you need to have Hellman's, but then you can also have a spicy mayonnaise, but the spicy mayonnaise can be of your choice, like boar's head or whatever. Like that, that can be. You, you, you mean know. a horseradish? You mean like horseradish? Mayonnaise? No, man. did I say? You're like my mother in law, man. Did I say horseradish or did I say? You spicy said spicy. Mayonnaise? I've never heard of just a spicy mayonnaise. You know, he means like a he means like a horseradish blend. It's like a you know like like a like boar's head has like a spicy. I think it's actually called fucking spicy mayonnaise. I don't know. No, I, I may be wrong, but. Bobby's you know, trash spicy about. mayonnaise. <laughs> I know. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm a boar's head. Uh, Dude, now, there's that, a that shit's believer. Good. There's a chipotle yeah. mayonnaise. Do you like that? Uh, I don't know. I, I like the chipotle chicken. <laughs> so that is pretty good, actually. Uh, yeah. I gonna... just had that two weeks ago for the very first. But, but I tell you, I, I only get chipotle if I have five days off. Well, <laughs> that, that's not. That's not. That's not fair. I only get chipotle if I have three days off. And I have to get it on the first day of the three days off, just in case. And, and if you go to Costco before you buy the Chipotle and get a large case of toilet paper. Like, it, it, dude, it's the weirdest thing. I mean, I think I've talked about it on this podcast before, but, like, I get stomach cramps. And it's not all the time. It's like, it's a dice roll. It's like 50-50. I'll get stomach cramps like like I got to have, like, a diarrhea. But, like... It's a struggle. It's the opposite of diarrhea when I actually make it to the toilet. It's the strangest thing, and I only get it with Chipotle. It's the salmonella, like, I'm sure. You don't do like you organic have, food. Do you ever get their pepper crack turkey? I only get the chicken and cheese burrito. Mm. The only thing I get. Oh, oh, you mean Chipotle? Like yeah. the actual? Oh, oh, when I thought you said Chipotle. Bobby family. thinks we're talking about a restaurant. No, <laughs> yeah. there's a I'm more trash. Said, uh, Chipotle uh, chicken. There's something called Chipotle. It's like a no, oh, I know. we have him here. Yeah, yeah, he's he's fucking with me, Greg. The, um, the, the, I, I'm sorry. I'm familiar. You never heard of Chipotle sauce? I mean, I've heard of it conceptually, but I've really only I, like I feel like I never heard of it until the fucking restaurant popped, and then all of a sudden everybody had their own Chipotle. Like, I never heard like anybody talking that Chipotle shit until the restaurant popped. Well, no, Brooklyn's been out for a long time. Oh, because because you got so many fucking hipsters. That's why. That is true. <laughs> oh boy, speaking of hipsters, did you get anything this week? I did. I got um, the opportunity to look at the Prince former Scorponok, and he let me keep it, which was fucking amazing. Um, that shit looked fucking, fucking amazing. Dude, it's so, like, you know, it's it, like, you know, people hit me up about it. And I'm like, look, man, it's not a fucking Takar or a Fans Toys or SH figure. Like, it's not that. It's just that somebody fucking made this. I you know. I shared it with Kit. Yeah, like, it's just That's incredible. How cool it was. Um, I got the Revel Tech Gambit. Which I have imposed on my shelf, and he looks amazing, but that figure is fucking trash. Mm. Why? Um, like it, it just like in my I did a like a, a review for it, and like it falls apart on me. I think three or four times. Like, and and sometimes it fell apart on me, and I wasn't even like filming for the review, but I just had the camera rolling, and I just threw it in at the end. Like it just fell apart on me. Like if you look at it wrong, it'll fall apart. Mm. Um, I had the opportunity. Oh, I see the review. Okay, I see it's from Sunday. Yeah, I had Friday. the op- I had the opportunity to look at the Giga Power Swoop, which is good. Um, I got the Star Wars Black Series Jump Trooper. I had the opportunity to look at the Toy Wolf Dirty Man, the toilet what? bowl thing. Oh my God! Yeah. And um, it's actually, it's not bad. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Um, and I had, uh, let's see what else. I got um, Hot Toys Phasma for a really great deal. I got a couple of three and three quarter. And I got a big shipment today. You can you can call her Sir Phasma now. <laughs> That's true. 
I got Hot Toys, DX11 Joker. Mm. I what got, is that? That's is that? the fucking Dark Knight Joker, like the Heath Ledger oh. one. I got wow. hot, I got Hot Toys, Dark Knight, or uh, Batman Begins, Scarecrow. Mm. Wow. And I got Hot Toys, Dark Knight Rises, Batman. And wow. I am three and a possible away from completing my Nolan collection. So is that Joker? Does he, is does he have the nurse's outfit, or is that a special one? Uh, I don't think they made that one. They made the bank robber one, and then they made two purple suit ones. And I had the second one, the one that's oh. can widely considered better. Does he have hair, or is no, it sculpted? It's sculpted. Okay. I wish oh, it was I'm real sorry. though. I really do. Like, there's I'm guys. Sure that you, you do. Well, there's guys on um, Instagram that I follow that do like customs, and like they do custom one six stuff, like whatever you want, but like. Like I follow them, and it's like every other post they make is somebody else commissioning them for their Ledger Joker because they do such an amazing job. Um, it's a good face sculpt, but I've found that, and I got it for, like I got it for a decent price from a I think a listener of Shattercast and um, oh, take an advantage. This guy Mike, and and I've actually bought a lot of shit from him throughout the years. But uh, actually I went through our PMs recently, and I was like, "Fuck, man, no wonder this dude keeps hitting me up." <laughs> but but he does right by me, and um, I got um, it's 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 like it, it, the face sculpt. It's just one of those ones like Hot Toys has this sometimes where like it looks better from certain angles, and like the more you look straight on at it or down at it, the more believable it is. When you start to look up at it, it starts to look a little strange, but um. It's really good, and it has, like, a fucking shit ton of accessories, like the desk and the chair and, like, from the interrogation room and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's it's pretty mm-hmm. amazing. Do, do they come with instructions? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it say how I got the scars? It does not. It does not. Uh, but actually, it, it, it does, but it's a choose-your-own-adventure. <laughs> oh. Anything else? No. I mean, I, I went to Star Wars Celebration, had a fantastic time, and that's about it. I've been meaning to watch the video, dude. It's uh, like I, I, the video was like a labor of love. Like it took like forever to do, um, and I have like three versions of it. Like I have one for our family that's like long as fuck, and then I did one for Patreon that's like has like a lot of like family shit in it, and then I did one for the regular channel, which is just all the the kind of toy shit and con shit. And like uh, it took me, I think, thirty six hours to completely edit it. I don't want to offend you or piss you off. No, no, Uh-oh. no, 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 Uh-oh. no don't worry about such things. But, here, here but my, oh, my only consolation that you went and I didn't was you didn't get to go to any panels. Yeah, man, what the fuck? I know, that shit was fucked up that you didn't get to see any. Yeah, the only silver lining to that was I got all the exclusives and it paid for all my purchases and put $100 in my pocket. Nice. Yeah, that's the only fucking silver lining to it like because yeah i would have loved to sit in that fucking room for just one like i mean obviously the nine panel is the one you want but i would have settled for the mandalorian you know what i mean like galaxy's edge i probably would have sold because motherfuckers were selling their lottery passes dude i didn't realize uh that the the guy that plays joker on gotham is the guy in the fucking game and he's the oh the yeah 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 the fallen order or whatever. Yeah, when he walked out, uh, walked onto the the room stage, I was like, "What the fuck's he doing there?" I don't think that one was a. Uh... It's funny because there was there was two of them that I felt like should have been lottery ones, but they weren't. The Clone Wars one I don't think was, and that one I don't think was. But like, well, the the four big lotteries were nine. Galaxy's Edge, which was fucking stupid. Um, um, the Mandalorian and the 20th anniversary of Phantom Menace, I think. Ooh. Well, but yeah, but the one that he was on, like, that was on the four stage, like in the, like, the main room. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, he might have been on another panel. Yeah, it's know. hard to tell because, like, they had, like, they, like, like, Daisy Ridley came out on the main stage. Like, I saw her on the main stage in the main room. But that wasn't part of the nine panel. Like, it, it was like a revolving door. It was, it was like, it was fucking amazing though. Like, if if it if I wasn't going to Disney next year, I would do everything I could to go back again. Like, it was like Disney for me. Dude, Anthony Daniels was a fucking showman. He, he's the man. That pink. I mean, that fucking gold jacket. 
Yeah, like every time he took any stage that I was watching it, it was just owned. Yeah, exactly. Mm, so speaking of owning, did you get anything, Greg? I did. Uh, I got Mortal Kombat 11. Nice. Um, I still haven't put it in yet. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> and and just for you, I got a box from my buddy Ken. I got the uh, Mech Fans Toys uh, Dinobots and their Ultra Magnus. Trash. Yeah, I couldn't pass it up though, man. I got a really, I got a really good deal, and he threw in some free shit. And I didn't mention last week, um, which I feel like kind of a dickhead because so many people helped. I put my feelers out for uh, a set of those uh, MMC penguins from uh, TFCon, and I ended up getting like six of them in the mail. So now I have like. 24 penguins or something like that. That's a lot of leads. Yeah. Jeez. Just people are tripping over themselves to help me out, which I really appreciate. Pink what? Penguins. Oh, penguins. Yeah, the um the MMC, MMC. penguins. I yeah. Pink ones. Yeah. No, that's the oh we, <laughs> that's a thing Kit and I have when we go to the zoo. We always say pink ones because we don't say penguins because of the uh the hockey team. No, the hockey team. So we call them the pink ones. But, um, yeah, people were just getting them because I guess there was like three gold ones. And if you got a gold one, you won a prior exclusive. And so people were just sending me their not winning sets. So um, now I have an army of the little motherfuckers. What are you going to do with them? Fuck if I know. They're hers. They're like pink, blue. They like Jolly Ranchers. So I would definitely glue some mealworms to them and just let them, like, just put them in the the uh, hedgehog cage. I wouldn't glue mealworms to them. Just like in film that's, it, like that's cruel. It's bad enough. I feed feed them to the hogs. I'm not gonna glue them to the goddamn penguins. <laughs> Did you get anything um, else? I did not. That was it. Oh, okay. Anybody want to ask me something? <laughs> hey, Robert D. Yes. Did Matt get anything this week you know of? Yeah, he gets shit all... I don't know how he does it. He gets stuff nonstop. It's just incessant with him. It's like ping, 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 ping. I think Matt's rich. I think Matt's mm. rich. I think he's low key rich. He's got that hey. Ozark. He's got that Ozark's money. Maybe. Do you think Justin got anything? No. Did you get anything? Um, no, but I had a my laugh. My life flashed before my eyes. Nice. I was redoing my displays, just moving stuff around, and I emptied a, a, a shelf on the Billy, big enough for a Zeta, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put my Superion up there, stand him up. And then I'm like, all right, maybe I should try to pose him. What kind of pose should I do just to see what it looks like? Because it's only one. Like, I think what looks good is when you have two, two like Zeta sized bots on one Billy. So I really need to do a dynamic pose. But before I did anything, all I did was lift his arm up. Now, this Billy is from the halfway mark up. You know how the Billies have the permanent shelf in the middle? So he's there standing up at that point. Below him, all over my floor, are all my Iron Factory Seekers and Decepticons and my Phoenix X and all my MMC Fembots because I was taking sh stuff off the shelves. Listen to him. He's not even paying attention. He's no, I had, to, I had to walk out for just a second. Oh, you walked away! Just for a second. What a son of a bitch. Basically, what you missed was he got a Phoenix X for a decent price. No, he for a reasonable price. I, I already he, knew that story. He, he knows this story. You know, he's heard it before. That's why I stepped out. I thought it was an appropriate time that wouldn't distract the show, but you see where that got us. Oh, but you did anyway. Oh, I heard some fans toys squeaks, squeaks from your side of it. Okay. <laughs> so, that was that box art. All I did was yeah. lift his arm up. I lifted his arm up just to see what kind of a pose I could put. And his, his, his forearm cannon falls off, right? I immediately follow it down, and it crashes. Just one Zeta cannon hits all the MMC fembots. 
smashes down onto the floor into all my Iron Factory seekers. And I'm sitting here in my desk chair. And my hands are out in front of me with my palms up. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, I could have sworn I heard a little little voice go, trust fall. Because <laughs> all of a sudden, fucking Superion explodes into my hands. And his his antenna. Not the first an- time someone exploded into your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bobby, that's a good one. That's a good one. You know what I say? That was stealing that one. <laughs> but his antenna actually punctured my palm. All right. And uh, he, he, his joints held, his shoulder and knees joints held. But the rest of him, I described it before as he, he it looked like nebula from the interrogation room in Infinity War. He fucking came apart. Everywhere he could come apart, he did. And it just got worse from there. I'm like, I'm holding him, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, and then at the end of it, when I finally got it all together, guess what happens randomly? Out of a, a slingshot, you know those two little rectangular red panels up in his chest that like to pop the fuck out? Well, they both pop out for no reason at that point, and then his head comes out, and he's like, peep boo. But that, but that was it. Did you find the soul stone? I didn't find the soul stone, but I got him in a nice pose. And then I, I had Matt on the phone. I told Matt what the hell just happened to me because my heart was pounding. And then um, I, I was like, what do I pose with this Superion? You know, I didn't want to pose the Autobots with him. And, and it wouldn't go. So I, I did the uh, Seekers, the Iron Factory Seekers. And I did a little scene, a little battle scene with him fighting them and got a lot of likes, except for one. Except for one. Except okay. for one. One oh, big what? thumbs down. I wonder who that was. It got a thumbs it, down? For a giant, fat, mutant thumbs down. From, from who? The one and only. Mr. Big Shot Face. Who? You. I didn't thumb it down. I just said that... <sighs> <laughs> so, like, I really liked a lot of the displays you've done recently. And this one is not up to the same standard. And because you went with, like, an action scene with, like, Superion versus the Seekers, which I think is cool, and I think it's cool that he's, like, gripping the jet. I think all that shit is cool, but I feel like that one needs a diorama. And I don't think it's terrible to have a diorama in the mix. Listen, Pinkerton. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I'm not even that nasty. They're like, why, do you, why would you go with Crashbox Customs when you can go for the cheaper Dude, option? Dude, I'll tell you what, man. If you went with Crashbox Customs, I would probably would feel a way about that. <laughs> I just, just would keep it, keep it 100 with you. I would be like, really? I mean, not, I mean he, he's, he's, far, he's far more advanced than I am, but, but I'd still I'd be like, uh, what about the buddy factor? So, uh, so are we uh, shouting out a Skull Coffin Creations here? A smash Crate. Oh, Smash Crate, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's me and Joe's <laughs> knockoff company. <laughs> the icon, the the icon is uh, just a picture of that uh, Metroplex little tear coming Yo, out of his eye. Joe might be buying a house four doors down from me. Wow! Nice. Yeah. What's, what's wrong with you? He was like, you, dude, he's like, dude, I'm never miss, I'm never missing French toast Mondays again. <laughs> but he's only gonna hang himself horizontally <laughs> from here on out. I just walk outside. He's like hanging from the side of my house on the fucking rain spout. <laughs> that shit was fucking insane. <laughs> I told him. I, t- I told him. I said, "Whatever bonus time you spend in my house, not now. That's not that, that, that." And I said, "We had to both agree that we had to look at each other and say you wouldn't normally be here unless you live four doors down. I'll pay it back in your gym." Mm. Oh, so he visits you to help you, and you're going to use his gym. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> oh boy but yeah i didn't uh i didn't get anything i'm waiting for motormaster as we all are and uh you want to talk about that the motormaster drama do you want to do it now uh, yeah, yeah do, do it, it now. now okay it's a hot topic so 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 uh, like uh, uh, this this kind of tends to happen so um i get 110 billion pms telling me that Motormaster is shipping. And by the 108th billion, they pretty much get the thumbs up. And then they're like, oh, you probably got inundated. And then they feel weird about it. Um, 
<laughs> so then I don't get as inundated with the inevitable. Here's my complaint follow up. Like that always. That's the cycle of all this shit, right? Like we're excited about shipping. What you want. Here's my. You want to hear that? I don't you, really care. I don't really care. You want um, everyone's. Like I have it. I'm going to buy it. Like I'll get a notice. Like I'll get a notice when it ships. Like I'm I'm good there. And then when I review it, I'll have my own criticisms. Um, but. I didn't get that many criticisms. So let me tell you what I uh, I didn't get it because I think that I t- uh, probably people are like, oh, he's he's aware. Let no, me tell you, they're let me, like, oh, fuck that guy. Maybe, maybe that could be the case. But let me <laughs> let me t- let me tell you what was picked up on my radar. So it uh, it's not as painted as people expected it to be. Number mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. and number two, there's a seam in the arm and That's, the leg. And the leg. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on my radar. Wait. Sorry, my uh, I just put my charger in the mods. Wait, are you talking about that uh, Skype crash? Are you talking about that scene post I put on Chattercast? That <laughs> yeah. was a joke. Oh, see, I didn't know. I just that those are the two things that hit my radar. It's not as no, painted, and there's a seam. No, no, somebody was like, oh, like they they, they obviously want to join in. It was so funny, and he was like, do you think th- does this knee gap bother anyone? And I was like close up of the bent knee with like a little gap in the joint and then people are like come on and that's when i posted uh, i did a close up of the thigh and it had like a seam line in it i am thinking like um like i'm like man like i'm just going to be open to the options i'm getting all three Whatever one I prefer in combine mode, that's going to be the combine one. Whichever one I prefer in alt mode, that'll be the alt mode. And whatever I prefer in robot mode, that'll be the robot mode. I don't need to, like, Adam always gigs me on this, but like he he always quotes Dark Knight, and he's he's always like I'll like I'll like draw some line in the sand, and he'll say you have all these rules, and you think they'll save you. And the truth is, like, I don't need to make these rules for myself. Like, I'm just going to get what I want, whatever works best. I'm going to use appropriately, and I'll sort out the rest. I got I got space for all of it. It'll be fine. Well, okay. So I think I think the biggest issue, and we've seen now the inbox images. So it does not have the white trim around the chest and, and the pelvis, and it's really a simple paint app. It's obviously an oversight. It's not like oh they advertise that it's finished and there's no finish on it. It's really just. It's what two paint apps, the uh, the rim around the chest and the rim around the pelvis. I don't mind the color of the helmet. I don't care if the gray is different than the arms. That doesn't bother me so much. Or if they change the head sculpt, that was another thing people noticed. You know, um, so what would you do with that? If you knew the only if you agreed that the significant difference was that one paint app being different with no white trim, would you customize it and put the white trim on it i'd have to see how i how i feel like i'm not chasing accuracy i'm chasing a feeling and if i get the feeling from the way that it is cool if i don't and i think the white paint app will fix it then i'll try that you know like would we have missed it would we have even missed it had they not shown it i would have never fucking noticed i'd have like who gives a fuck I'm so fucking tired of, like, the same bullshit conversations regarding all this shit. Like, I get frustrated with it because it's like, um, for instance, on that sit-down Saturday where I was like, you know, there, there seems to be these different types of collectors. And then people were like, well, no, I collect for G1 accuracy. It's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. You choose what to collect based on G1 accuracy. But right. it's what you do with that collection that I'm talking about. And, like, right. it, it's frustrating. And for those that want something that looked like it walked out of the cartoon, like, for instance, um, Sea Spray is a perfect example, right? People are like, no, I want the X Trans bots because, the, or, or the, you know, I prefer the Toy World, whatever, because they look more like the cartoon model. I get it. I understand. Like, that makes perfect fucking sense. Like, yes, 100%, I understand. <laughs> I'm not doing that because one, I already bought one, and two, I don't give enough of a fuck about sea spray to get the right. tubby one. Right. Yeah, and, 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 that and that's not like that's not to say that the the that G one doesn't matter. Of course, G one matters, but like, I'm not gonna buy 
the more accurate one when I don't like the way it looks for the sake of it being more accurate. Well, I think because that's know, not what I'm going for. But like, this shit's different, right? Like, like whatever. Like, if you like it, you win. The same shit we always say. I think people. I think maybe people have gotten confused. They've confused like cartoon accuracy with what we've talked about a while ago in the past about um, like character cues. You know, right? Certain things about a figure that make it germane to the character. Mm -hmm. You know, and Good I word. think that's been muddled. And people think it has to be... And there's really, not a wrong answer. Right. You know, right. like, based on the confines of what do you want. There's a wrong answer based on, on the confines of what's most accurate, 100%. Now, let me ask you this. Fans toys, I can see them not acknowledging that the final product does not reflect what they advertised, right? In terms of paint apps. And, I mean, head sculpt... I can forgive them. It's fans' toys. They've never been like the kings of head sculpts in the past. They've Agreed. had some good ones, but they've had just as many like not so good ones. But <clears throat> I feel like they, head sculpts are harder than we give it credit for because I feel oh, like I've yeah. seen a lot of bad ones recently. Yeah, yeah. Look at that uh, X Trans bots. Uh, which we call it the yellow guy. Not for nothing. You know what I'll give to car credit for? I head feel sculpt. like they nail the face sculpt every time. Yeah. Every time I like. I don't think Takara has ever not nailed a face sculpt. I don't know. That Mirage looked like shit in G1 toy version. <laughs> I, I mean, in terms of the MP line. I know. I know. I know. But, you know. Just clarifying. Okay. So, so wait, hold on. You have fans toys advertised. As, this is what we're releasing, right? Um, and for all intents and purposes, it looked like an actual toy. I, it did to me. Maybe I'm an idiot. But then we see inbox images, and we're going to see it in hand, and it lacks these certain paint apps, which it's not a giant finish thing. It's really just a couple of paint apps. Can we expect fans' toys to not acknowledge the shortcoming and instead do a second run of an X version? If they do that, it, uh, like I'll treat it the same way I treat that Phoenix. Like, fuck you and fuck that. Will that sour your taste towards... Fans toys. N not any more than it kind of already has, and not just with fans toys, but with any company. You know, like who else has done that, right? Have we seen we've seen MMC do that, painted versions and unpainted versions. iGear, didn't we see them do it back in the day with the mini bots? Um I mean to, well, to car now with the with the plus versions, like hold on though, hold on though. No, let's let's say let's say Siege. They show you an image of a a character figure that's covered in weathering, right? How even though we know it, it's like in hand, but then when you get it, it's unpainted. You know, wouldn't that piss you off? And then, then they offer a new version, a plus version that's twice the money or a, a third more, with the actual paint they originally uh, advertised. So I don't know if it would piss me off in the same way. I mean, like, I mean, like you're getting these fans' toys for bot mode. Like an eighteen dollar figure, and now I got to pay thirty six. Like, I'll pay, <laughs> okay, one hundred and seventy nine. So yeah, but that sure. changes the dynamics of the conversation. So then the siege comparison is out the window. You're out the window. So let's say it's a hundred and seventy nine dollar <laughs> figure. You're out of right? your mind. You wanted these guys for their bot modes, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe the difference maker here is that slight paint app. And and otherwise you would want them in bot mode, but that bothers you. Let's mm -hmm. say it doesn't look good enough, and that affects your whole display. Mm -hmm. And then they release an X version for two twenty. Mm -hmm. You know, would you? Sell I, I feel your like version? I feel like if if you felt that strongly about it, you should sell it and speak with your wallet. Mm. So, yeah, but, but what about you? You can't sell broken stuff. Well, I, well, like to be fair, I have, but like. I, I think I think that like I'm I'm honest about it, upfront about it, but I, I think that like I do the same thing, right? Like, um, and I'm I'm only drawing this comparison because it's the only one I can think of off the top of my head where I where I switched out. But I had the the Takara Red Alert, right? And then the painted one came out, and I was like, "Fuck, I do want that because it it does look more accurate to the cartoon model with the gray." So I got the gray one, but then they did it for Prow, and it's like, no, I don't. I don't give enough of a fuck about that. Like the colors are still right. It just it just now looks more plain. 
So I spoke with my wallet, but I, I didn't get uh-huh. upset, really. You know what I mean? Like, I'm upset in the sense that it's taking another release schedule date, but I don't think they have anything ready to rock and roll anyway. You know, so it's it's like a case by case basis. The Phoenix thing, right? Like, if they did the metallic white, like the pearly, like really well done metallic white, it would have been super irritating. The fact that it came out and I feel like it's not that much of a difference, right? Makes me feel better about my my purchase. But at you the same time, mean. it makes me feel bad for the people that went and bought it that were expecting something night and day difference. So I can empathize with that but i can't necessarily relate to it and i can understand if somebody was like man fuck like i I bought the fucking one expecting the fans toys quality i got the one that wasn't up to that standard then i doubled down on the one that they promised was going to be up to that standard then i got it and it's fucking not up to that standard so fuck them i'd be like dude i get it what if it's just uh qc checker 35 that fucked up well as long as it's not 33 that's the one i feel like i always get what if it's just the QC person like that? Whoever, I mean, I mean, that's it's not that's not that's not that's not the person for the paint apps. Don't they check the paint too? Not not a whole application. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't think we've ever seen that before. Where somebody's like, "Yep, all the whites missing, and only thirty three fucked it up." Like, holy fuck, the thing of no paint. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't think that's a real thing. I don't know. I feel like Greg's been trying to get something out forever, though. Well, I have. <clears throat> I have to try to get something up. Is there a poltergeist and, uh, team? Am I echoing? It's like uh it's it's like, it's it's not like a oh. normal echo. It's almost like Go to the light. Yeah, it's almost like you need to go to the light. Go to the light, Greggy in. <laughs> Alright, how about now? <laughs> I love it. Just the ghost of Greg. Just do it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's, Sorry, Greg, not- it's it's Greg Wave. Greg Wave! <laughs> Well, I, pl- I plugged my power charger into my laptop, and this is really distracting. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't have to Skype, so I might need to restart. Um, but since we're at the end of this discussion, uh, just to recap, uh, Robert's concerns are head of the rim job and a big bad taste in Bobby's mouth. Facts. Is that, is that pretty much... That's a, that's a, that's that's fairly accurate. Could you do me yeah. could you do me one favor before you decide to reset Skype? If you do, could you yeah. say could you say cringer eject? <laughs> <laughs> He's already ejected. <laughs> He's crawled up on a little ball. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Um, but All yeah, right, let, me, let me reset Skype. Up. No, no, worries. Don't, no worries. don't 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 no worries. Yeah, I love it. No, um, we, I need to. But My like a um, big problem, though, I, mean, I have a problem now, if that's true. I'm thinking maybe the one that they opened, it could just be a defective figure. I mean, it could be, but I'm going to I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that perhaps it is not like I, I'm, I'm looking at the I'm, I'm going to pull it up now because there are certain things where I'm like, because when I saw like the images, I was like, I was like, looks good to me. You know, when people send me an inbox, but I see that that white border. You know, but like, I don't know, man. That quality finish, like, uh, you I know? know, I don't know if I like the white border. Mm. You know, and, and it's a subjective thing. Like, if if I'm, because I I almost feel like it, it's overemphasizing the ET head. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, I'm, I'm I'm I'll be honest with you. I'm more disappointed that. The gray arms aren't painted, then I am that the white border isn't there. Yeah, some people really were upset about that. Oh, and, and I'll be honest, like that, that's that to me is a disappointment. That to me is fans toys not operating at their at their best. <clears throat> What's that, Craig? Now I know, Bob. God damn it. <laughs> Cringer, eject, operation, <laughs> mute. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know what, what the fuck's, fuck's going, going on. on. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, guys. Uh, no worries. Let me reset. No worries. No, no, don't reset. Uh, uh, I just, just, just real quick, since that's not my son, apparently. Like, so I know Bobby's <laughs> getting it. <laughs> hey, Rob, Robert, you said you ordered. Uh, you ordered it. Yeah, I got to come in hopefully tomorrow. Okay. I, I passed on. 
I don't know. I don't see what's up with the arms. I'm looking at them, and they're gray. What's the issue? I mean, they're just gray plastic. How how can you tell? I guess you can tell, of course. Well, no, well, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's just my it's just my immediate reaction looking at it. I was like, oh, this is just gray plastic. The head was supposed to be – the head uh, bucket was supposed to be the same color as the arms. People are mad about that, too. That doesn't bother me. Me neither. Because the head bucket is the same color as the legs. So like that, like that matches. Like I'm, I'm good with that. And I'm looking at the early images of it, and the head bucket, the head bucket definitely matches the legs and not the arms. So I don't know what the fuck people are. You know what I mean? Like that's something that's like that was blatant. What if in hand fans toys decided the white rim looks stupid? You know, and said no. Or it could. I mean, it, that could be the case. It could. It could have been a cost benefit analysis. It could have been an error. Because it might be shiny. I mean, this the plastic looks pretty good. Like whenever I talk about fans' toys, people fucking kill me. If I'm, if I'm like, if I'm like, dude, I, I love it. They're like, oh, of course he loves it. If I'm like, dude, I hate it. They're like, oh, he's not even giving it a fair chance. So like, I, I can't win when I talk about this company. So so just so just be honest about it. I am. I, I so when I look at it, to me, the white outline looks dumb. The fact that it's not there looks better. I hate that the arms aren't painted, and I hate how wide he is from the side. That's what bothers me. Wide he is from like, the side. Like, he looks so much like a chunky monkey from the side. Like, the legs are wide as fuck. The body's wide as fuck. Like, and maybe that's to have the trailer self-inclusive, but you know how I feel about that? Get it out of here. Put, let me put that shit in a box and use it when I want to combine them. So you 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 really mind that side view? It's, I'm worried about. Those I think the side views. view. I think the side view looks cheap. Not cheap as in quality. Cheap as in uh, cheap. design choice. Crappy. Those heels look really small. That's a concern of mine. From the rear, the heels look small. I'm worried that he's not going to stand well, especially with that backpack. I don't know how he's going to handle it. With it's, it doesn't sit on the chunks of his feet. If you look, there's a, a shot of the rear view, and I don't see it now. Of course, that's my luck. But he's got teeny little heels that it's like you know, like a big fat man wearing his uh, wife's heels. I mean, it's not that teeny teeny, but pretty small. Could be. I don't know. I, I like. You know, so like, if I'm I'm talking like a, a you know objector reviewer face, you know, like those are the issues I have with it. But like, if I'm talking about like just me as a collector, like I'm like, man, let me know who's canceling their orders so I can buy more because this is the only company I really want to buy shit from. That's a fact you know, when it comes to Transformers. Yeah, like maybe X Transbots, but I got to see more from them too. Like, cause I don't want a big ass fucking Quintesson. Like it's cool, but no, thank you. You know, like I, I want a fucking proper, I want somebody to do a trail breaker that knocks it out of the park. I want somebody to, I, like, I want that fucking bliss wing. And I, I like, I want to start wrapping this shit up. If we're not going to do the elusive, like if nobody's going to focus on the, the obscurity, like, if nobody's really going to donate their time, energy, and effort to the obscure characters, like, if I have to come to terms with the idea that this collection is really never going to see fulfillment, then let's fill the gaps in and, and shut it down. Why can't we get a punch counter punch? Yeah. You know, or the two that I always mention, like the run a buck, run a buck, run about, like the... What about run a buck? Run a, run a buck. We should, run just, a buck. We, we should just call it run a buck when we're talking about both. Um... I actually might like the all black more than the white line shit. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, you know, I get into this conversation all the time with the cartoon. Like, I want it to be, I want it to be inspired by the cartoon. I don't want it to look like the cartoon because I don't think, me personally, I don't think the cartoon looks great. Yep. Oh, Bobby. Are we still on Motormaster? Yeah. Yes, like, I, I think, on Motormaster. like, I think the masterpiece prow looks and even the plus version like it's not a matter of plus just in terms of sculpt like i think it looks inspired by the cartoon but it doesn't look just like the cartoon and i wouldn't want it to it's not what i want like i had a whole bunch of cartoon shit and i was like this looks fucking dumb you know it, it just it doesn't it looks to me you know 
It's just subjective. Yeah. Every time I say shit like this, people in the comments are like, how dare you decide what's dumb? Because I fucking decide what's dumb for me. The same way you fucking do. Yeah, just because he's a hey. celebrity. Shut up. Well, <laughs> as far as that discussion goes, um, and I think there, I did add a discussion topic I think that we can touch on. But um, it's just like uh, this new little segment I added about uh, Marvel Legends. Um, it's like the difference between the comic book stuff and the Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff. Mm. I like uh, – keep going. I like where you're going. Yeah, it's like you know. sometimes you want it to look more realistic and then some people want it to look more comic book. Mm. And personally, I I like the – cartoon and stuff. there's there's nothing wrong with that like oh exactly yeah yeah it's it, preference. It, i'm just echoing what you said yeah 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 no i know no i know you are i'm just i'm just i'm just i'm just re pretty much reiterating for the for the listeners that think i might think that it's bad for them if they want something that's u- ultra tune accurate i don't i don't care like i don't <sighs> You know, I don't care if they buy KOs. I certainly don't care if they buy X Transbots or whatever. I'm buying X Transbots. Like I'm I'm not I'm not competing for what's best because I'm buying them all. Yeah. What's what's funny well, though is people are up in arms based on what the images were, as if the images originally were the epitome of a good figure, and now that it's different, they're up in arms. They're up in arms and offended. It's like, how do you know it's not as good or bad? Actually, you know what? Somebody hit me up today. Let's do. Let's. Do, you want to do an experiment? Yes. Somebody hit me up today uh, with a picture of it. Uh, I think it was the same one you just shared, Robert, saying that they weren't. It is saying that they weren't crazy about. They're like, is this the actual figure? Concerned about lack of paint, right? So let's do an experiment. I'm going to ask them if they are in, or they if they pre-ordered it, and then we'll look at the response. Okay. And this is this, this is a cool dude. This isn't a, a knock towards him. This is just an experiment. Did you listen to him spell? Pre-order this. That damn trash iPhone with no swipe. <laughs> do you, uh, how do you type on an iPhone with those thumbs, Mac? Um, it's it's a very intuitive machine. You just pray. It's a very intuitive machine. I hope the pads of my ginormous... It only, it only needs one button to get the job done. You know what I mean? Uh, my mom loves your thumbs. <laughs> hey, while you're waiting, what phone, what iPhone do you have? I have no iPhone fucking trash. idea. It's trash. Yeah, it's, it's before the 10 because oh. like, it doesn't have the facial recognition or any of that, which I don't want anyway. I, don't, I never lock my phone. <laughs> like, yeah, if, can't, if, can't anybody, if anybody her. found my phone and like pocketed it, they'd have mad dick pics. Okay, so I said, did you pre-order this? No. So that's – that's well, no, he's not mad, but see, he said he was going to buy it. But that's my point is like I, I feel like it's often people that weren't going to buy it anyway. Right. Look at that, Mr. Social Experiment. Look at you. You're right. It's the same gaggle of folks. You know, and it's not a not – like as a cool dude in – I've been speaking to him for almost as long as I've been reviewing. Like it's, it's not a knock towards him. It's just, it's just to show that often people that are very critical of the presentation of this particular company don't have the intention of buying it. Yeah. It's like, Oh, I'm going to buy it when, when it's fucking sold out. Is that when you're going to buy it? (laughs) And then you're going to complain about it being super expensive. Like I was talking to Jisk recently. Like he bought that, uh, he just, he, he just bought the Hydra. Right, like the six shot. He doesn't give a fuck about six shot. He doesn't want to collect season four. Doesn't care. He's just like, yeah, I'm buying it as an investment because it's fans' toys. Like, I get it. You know what? I just bought a second of SOC Voltron. Oh, wow. motherfucker! You're wow. the reason I didn't get one. Wow. I got another one coming. He's gonna stay in the box, minty minty. I need one. I I missed the fucking pre order, but like. I mean, it was up what twenty minutes. Yep, the same reason. Just, just. Did. I think Hydra's a poor investment because he's still in stock. Everywhere. I agree. I agree. I, I think that anything in season four is a poor investment because that's not where the passion of that G one fandom is. But um, I will say this. Hold on a second. The um, bless you, Jesus. Words, words <laughs> from Skullface. 
Yeah. yeah. Did you get the snot all in your face because you had the mask on? No, no, no. I'm I'm a, I'm allergic to uh, scalping. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the um the 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 most beautiful thing in my opinion about that Bondi solo to Joke and Voltron is that for me. As a casual Voltron fan, I watched it when I was a kid. I loved it. I had a set of lions when I was a kid. I loved it. I had the set that transformed, and I always wanted the set that didn't transform. Remember there was two sets? Yeah, with the pilots. Correct. But I never had it. And now I have my original lions, and they're in lion mode. And then I have my Bondi soldier joke in Voltron. He's sitting in a Dethoff, I'll have you know. And I'm done. I'm done. Like he's in a detail on Abasta. I never. He, uh, he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I never have to worry about another Voltron purchase. Like, um, like it's fulfilled for me. Um, Robert, did you happen to watch the Star Wars Celebration video? No, not yet. There's a joke in there for you, man. Oh, really? Yeah, like there's a joke in there I put in there specifically for you. Oh, it's about a collar. You looking it's, at Jabba the Hutt and saying his throat looks no, like mine? No, it's not a personal joke at you. It was a joke for you. Oh, was it a dirty joke? Oh. No. Okay. It wasn't well, a joke at me either. Why does someone have to suffer for you to have a laugh? It's my sense of humor. I'm an asshole. I'm a bully. <laughs> You're a bully. I'm a bully. You're a bully. You're a bully. You're a bully. I, I got a good joke uh, today about you, Robert, but for the sake of spoilers, I, I can't say it's after the show. Um, huh? But I, I really wish you would watch it. Like, I, and you'll know it when it hits. You can turn it off after that. I don't care if you watch the video. I just want you to catch the joke. Okay. Now I'm not going to get it. I'm gonna be like, what joke? No, you, no. Like, trust me. It. Trust me. You'll know. <laughs> There'll be no doubt in your mind. Is this how you get in views? You no, look, look. You might watch. No, 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 no. You might watch it and be like, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Just trust me. If you had to ask, it wasn't it. When okay. it hits, you will know. Oh, it's going to be the tomato sauce on a pizza. It's not about you, buddy. <laughs> but they did have a whole tomato on that sauce, and I That's did just... tell my wife to make a BLT out of it. Even I would get offended at that, man. Yeah, it was crazy. Nope, shout, out to Paul, shout out to Paul C and his trash-ass fucking uh, pizza taste. I was like, dude, the fuck does Chicago know about it? I'm just kidding. I it's... love Chicago. As soon as you asked him for and received recommendations, you knew you weren't going to like it. No, I will say I will say the crust, like, because he, he specifically said, make sure you get the butter crust or whatever it was. And he was dead on about that. Like, the crust was fucking amazing. Um, it was just the sauce that was trash. Where'd you go? Uh, it was this place, man. Um, two, two, two Manatis or something. It's like this. It's like a. <laughs> He he recommended it. It was um, and actually it was on Laura's radar because it's like the second highest rated Chicago pizza in Chicago. And he was like, "Dude, he was like, you have to try it. Like it shits on you know Giordano's, whatever the fuck we normally buy." Giordano's, um, yeah. But I have to admit, I disagree. I, I would flip flop them any day of the week. Mm. I don't like a heavy pizza. I, I like a light pizza. I so, don't want the fact so look, I prefer a light pizza also. But when I go to Chicago once a fucking year, like it seems anyway, like I'm going to indulge. Yeah, it's just how much of that can you eat? Can you eat like two of those slices? No, I had five one night, four another night, and four another night. Are you kidding me? No, we had it three nights out of five. How can you eat that much in one sitting? Because it's so I'm a much? fucking pizza fanatic, Mac. I try to tell you that. You don't believe me. I will crush No, you're you. a piece of shit. I will eat I will eat a pizza the size of your neck collar. Oh my god. That's like a twenty inch pizza. That's what I'm trying to no, tell you. No, I've I've got a bigger than a twenty inch neck collar, actually. Dude, Adam's brother was here today. His neck collar looked like yours, man. I almost I almost took a picture and sent it to you. <laughs> Did he look like one of the one of the orcs from uh, the Hobbit? No, no, no. It just his um his neck collar looked like a deflated hula hoop. <laughs> see i like i like giordano's too but their their sauce doesn't seem uh Finish. seasoned enough that's the style out there man they just they just cook some like tomatoes that's all that they do well yeah. i don't know man because well, i mean i i agree I, I i hear where you're coming from greg but i feel like i feel like oh, their their, their style of sauce might be more seasoned than new york sauce Oh. oh. I say, now let me say I say that to say this. I prefer New York pizza any day. If there was a New York pizza place in Chicago, 
I would have got that over the Chicago pizza. Like New York pizza is my favorite in the world. However, I do feel like the Chicago sauce has more flavor, but I feel like it's fucking because they put a thousand fucking things in it, including an entire slice of fucking tomato. Mm. Mm. But you know how you know place. how the Giordano's. I'm sorry to cut you off, and I'm gonna let you finish. But like you know how the Giordano's has like the 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 bread, and then the layer of cheese, and then another layer of bread, and then a layer of cheese, and then the sauce. Mm-hmm. This other place just had the bread, and then cheese, and then sauce, which is fine. But you add on top of that the BLT sauce it had, and um, it just. The, the only allure of it was that the crust was fantastic, which Paul did recommend that we get specifically, and he was right about that. Hold on, wait. You ordered BLT sauce? No. It just had BLT sauce oh. on it because <laughs> you could make a BLT out of the sauce. <laughs> did, you, did, did, did you notice how he just kanye me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his thing. He's kanye everyone right now. There, say. There is a place, and I can't think of the name of it. Cheers. It was. It's on the tip of my tongue, and then I just forgot it. Uh, they make a frozen pizza. Oh, um, uh, DiGiorno's. No, 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 no. It, it's a different place. They have a, th- they have a thin crust. Okay. And it's like this buttery, like thin crust, and it's like odd in Chicago because it's a staple, but it's not like a deep dish. And everyone in Chicago says it's trash. But I actually prefer that pizza, that that pizza place to uh, Giordano's. And I'm sure I'll think of it as soon as we start talking about something else. But well, let's talk about something else. All right, let's, let's do it. The Marvel Legends Spider Man. What's FFH Wave? What's that? Oh, Far From Home. Sorry. Yeah. Hey. <sighs> we're, we're diversifying yeah. a little bit because there's just fucking nothing. Yeah, and I put this under comics just because like. I couldn't think of a, a clever name for a new category. So. No, I'm good with it. Um, yeah, I'll tell you. I'm so I'm in. It's so funny. I'm in for the Scorpion, right? Mm-hmm. Wrong. And even with um, like Marvel movies being all the rage, as soon as I got the notification through BBTS, I went. I went there. They had the entire wave available, and then Scorpion by himself. Looking at this wave, I'm going to guess that he's single-packed. Scorpion sold out. Mm. Like, that speaks volumes to me. That being said, uh, I'll track down the Scorpion when I can, and I'm passing on the rest of the wave. Even though I think it it, it looks, you know, it looks good, and I'm sure it looks like the movie, like the Mysterio and everything. Like, I just, um, I'm going the import route for that stuff. Yeah, I I want the um, doppelganger, and I want Scorpion. Uh, I can pass on the movie stuff because I'm not really collecting that right now. Uh, if I see a Spider-Man, I'll pick him up because I do love Spider-Man. But that Hydro Man looks just the fuck like the old cartoon. Yeah. Like when we were kids. I will say I'm remotely interested in the Spider-Woman, but I think I have a representation of the Spider-Woman. I got to go check, double check. I do like how she's probably the least attractive figure from the wave, and she has the biggest piece of oh, molten yeah, man. Without a doubt. And plus, like, I mean, f- you know, female figures always, you know, well, not always, but tend not to sell as well as male figures. I mean, I would pick it up. I mean, I'd buy the whole case, but I'm not spending $170 on it. But, but I mean, if you're, I like, if you're really like, if you're like, want three figures, if you're like a five year old kid. Like walking into a store is like rarely the five year old kid walking out with the Spider Woman. I don't understand why, like collectors. It's like with Marvel Legends, it seems to happen in waves, ironically. But you 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 collect hundreds of them, and then you have the inevitable post of the ma- the mattress. <laughs> the mattress. The mattress lot looking to sell, or the one guy who's got all the builder figures, and he's gonna time to cash in. It's the mattress of day. regret. The mattress of regret. But and then they just go in on it again. They suck them up again, and then I mean, like it happened to me at Transformers, but I, maybe it's because of the. I don't know how expensive I'll these tell are, you, but man, I've never seen a uh, like mainline mass retail 
that's been as prolific as Marvel Legends these past two years. It's but, been I, ridiculous. Like I think sell this them is off their, like wrestling figures. This is their third or fourth wave this year so far. Yeah. You know, like <clears> they're <throat> fucking out of control. Like they just keep pumping them out. Um, I actually I, I ended up I, at, at celebration. I talked to a guy in the in the line that's an ex employee of Hasbro, and um, he worked on the Legends line and he worked on the Black Series line, and he, he like he didn't have really have a clear answer for me as to why like there's such a big difference in terms of releases, but. I've never seen like this. They, they pump out legends like I, I, I don't know. I, I've never seen anything like it. Like what? What else has come out this year? Well, oh, there's been a Captain Marvel wave, right? Was the Sauron wave this year or last year? Uh, last year. So is this there? And then there's the X Men wave that's releasing now as well. And, Infinity War, exactly. and then there's the Infinity War wave. So X Men, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel had one or two waves. One, right? Yeah, one so far. Uh, okay, about one of those. So Captain Marvel, Infinity War, uh, and then X Men, Spider Man. That's four waves, and then the exclusives. Right? We've had a Mystique, and I think one other one, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Walgreens ones, right? So, yeah, exactly. So, like, it's just like, I I don't think there's been one Black Series wave this year. Has there? Well, I'm I'm looking at these pictures closely for the first time, and I'm pretty sure that Spider-Man is just a repaint of the Ultimate one. Um, I think that Mysterio is a retool. Of the actual Mysterio, like the one we got last year. Mm -hmm, The comics one. And I'm pretty sure that most of Doppelganger is Pizza Spidey. And let me say that, let me just, so to to avoid the comments. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. The Black Series wave did just hit, like the Mace and Padme wave with Holdo. Holder? Holder? But it is like, it's nuts. They just crank them out, and I mean, obviously, they use less bucks. Like, like, like you were saying, Greg. Like, it's a lot of retools, it's a lot of repaints, it's a lot of just different heads and different hands. But yeah. still, I mean, like the build of figures, the um, and and he was saying actually, that's one thing he did say. He's like, they make they make most of their money on the build a figure. Oh, of really? How? Like, because that's where. That's where most of their investment ends up going, money wise, is into the build a figure, and then that's what ends up selling the case. Okay, oh, I you, see. you have to buy the whole set, and then sometimes, like if if you buy through like BBTS, you have to buy a whole, like you have to buy an entire case, which could contain two or three two or three duplicates. Right, like the Spider Man in this wave. Obviously, they double packed because kids want Spider Man. Yeah, and and yeah, you have to and. He doesn't even come with the pieces. Correct. That's what's fucked up. Um, and like, I don't really care about Spider Woman. Um, what's odd about this wave is I'm into most of the ones that come with pieces, but I wouldn't necessarily buy them if it didn't come with a little figure piece. Hmm. So, is that Hydro Man a retooling of Sandman? Uh, that's actually a good, question, that is a good question, but I don't think so. The hands might be like some of the odds and ends of like the the water effects, but the body is not. The body's smaller, I think. Yeah, but if you look at the uh, doppelganger next to him, um, there's a lot of pizza spuddy uh, parts in there, hmm. except for the hands. There's new hands. The arms are the same. The legs are the same, and the torso obviously is modified. That's six but, armpits. <laughs> Dude smells like straight onions. <laughs> Dude smells like a fucking convention. <laughs> <laughs> a walking convention. <laughs> convention, Spidey. Man, that scorpion, though, that fucking thing looks fucking awesome. Lost soul. Bent on revenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
let's see what else do we got here more marvel legends marvel <laughs> n- marvelous news marvel endgame wave one marvel engine legends endgame wave one let's see if i can click a link and <clears throat> let's see what i'm in for for this uh, it's pretty uneventful, to be honest with you. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even think I'm gonna like. I have the the old Hercules. I don't even Hercules. Think I don't even think I'm gonna Hercules, swap out. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Fucking Hercules! Come on. I think I'm skipping this wave altogether. Ebony, oh, I'm Ebony Ma. I mean, well, yeah. so so I was gonna say I was contemplating getting Thanos's crew and have them like flanking the SH Figuars one, but I think they're gonna be bigger than the Figuars one, so it'll look stupid. Yeah, if I was in for like the the movie figures, because that there's just so much movie shit coming out, like I just couldn't, I didn't have room for it. I just got rid of it. Um, but if I was if I was still in, um, I would buy the Ebony Maw, Ronan, and Living Laser, and skip the rest. What about who's the build build a figure? Is that uh, Thanos? No, uh, he, it's. Uh, isn't it? It's, it's I think it is. I didn't. I couldn't tell until I found oh, it. Oh, is His head comes with fucking Hercules to make sure everyone buys Hercules. Oh, it is a thing. Is. Yeah, because like, well, so it's funny because <clears throat> uh, contrary to what you're saying, Robert, uh, Tyler came across a display um, with these figures, like f- you know, loaded on the display. Only, great. only figure that was sold out was Hercules because of the head. No, no, it's be, no, it's because it's because it's the most popular comic book character, and the comic book characters are still what motivates this line. Is he an Avenger? Yeah, at times, what? at times, yeah. Hercules. Well, yeah. And, th- and Hercules was a build a figure too, right? That sold out. That's like pretty pricey, like the old Hercules, right? I don't think so. Or I might be mistaken. Ares was. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. It's Ares. Get but yeah, um, yeah, he was the only one sold out. Like, I, like that Ebony Maw is tempting, but like, I just can't have him tower over my Figuarts Thanos. Like, I just can't do it. Well, yeah, that's why you gotta get a, the Piddler figure. And who gives a fuck about Citizen V? <laughs> yeah. Like, who like looks at their fucking Marvel Legends? Finally, like, <laughs> finally, a Citizen <laughs> V and a Nighthawk. Oh God! The living laser wave has finally struck. Well, I would buy a living laser only because I was a fan of that Captain America arcade game. But see, that's what that day. shit relies on. Is that like I know? You know, I know. I've done it too. I've done it too with little obscure characters. I've been like, yes, fucking Darkwing, whatever the fuck his name is, like Darkwing Duck. No, you know the guy I'm talking about, Greg. Uh, is his name Darkwing? The detective I guy? Feel like his name. No, not the not the duck, Robert. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Even though I would actually like a really good Darkwing duck. Actually. <laughs> um I feel like his name is Darkwing, but let me check it out. Are you thinking about Nightwing from DC? No, no. Come on, man. <laughs> no, um the guy he had like silver wings and he had a helmet. Oh, um, he came out like a couple of years ago in a wave. Yeah. He was on one of the movie waves. He was like a filler figure. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're talking about. A filler figure. But like That's that dude, like, you know, like I always liked that dude when I was a kid. Like I never really read anything with him. But like when he hit, I was like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking definitely getting him. Yeah, just for some reason, like I just it's probably just because of that game. But I partner uh, Living Glazer and Claw as like a set. Like, if I have a claw, I need to have a living laser. So that would be right. the only reason I got I would buy anything from this wave. To be honest. <laughs> did Matt put the discussion question in here in these notes? Because that shit's funny. I think Matt did that. No, um, what is it? What does it say? <laughs> what Why are we us, the way we are? What made us the way we are? No, that was me. That was me. And I have a good explanation uh, for <laughs> that. We'll get there. Um, it actually, we're actually hitting on a lot of points uh, to lead into that question, just to be honest. It's an end game, so to speak. So, Bobby, did you like the movie? Um, Which one? End game. I see it tomorrow, buddy. No, you saw it yesterday. Oh, that's true. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say the part that I was worried about bothering me didn't bother me. I'm going to be optimistic. You really- 
Did you really saw it yesterday? <laughs> Let I'm, me ask you this. Let oh, me ask you oh, this. oh, 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 right. oh, oh, yes, oh. Right. Do you <laughs> like Captain Marvel more now? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, you're not. <laughs> no, it's I, have a I watched that shit today. <laughs> um. Oh, okay, Adam. Thanks a lot, Adam. Yeah, Adam and Greg are famous for that shit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it, but Mr. Glass is the antithesis to Unbreakable. And Unbreakable is actually a superhero. I actually watched, uh, uh, I actually watched Mr. Or Glass, uh, recently. Would, I, I missed it in the theater. Where would you score it one to 10? Uh, that's all I'm interested in because I want to see it. Um, and I got a I got a rough review of it today, and I'm just curious where you would score it one to ten, and then I'll let you know what I think after I see it. Critics and armchair critics have it like a four, uh-huh. but I really like that series. Mm-hmm. Um, Ken and I really enjoyed it. I, I I can't do the number scale. Okay. Um, but we really enjoyed it because like I, I t- it was Adam that saw it. He said he like Unbreakable is like a ten for him. Uh, split was like a seven, and glass is like a two. Yeah, that's Ooh. what people say. Yeah, it, it the ending is the disappointing part. Everything oh, leading up to it, spoiler faced, pretty good, but right. it's just the way it ends. Like it, too the, much, the, too the, much twist, <laughs> too much Shyamalan. <laughs> the twist, <laughs> a lemon twist. Does he make it with a lemon twist? It's just like it goes the wrong way. And I think it put a sour note, like on everyone's experience. Gotcha. But um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I've watched it probably three times. I actually bought it, um, and I enjoyed it. Mm. But I could see why folks wouldn't like it. But I just think it's uh, they it's Dark Hawk. It's Dark Hawk. Yes, <sighs> that's God. Him. He looks like um. You like Dark Hawk, Bobby? Oh my God, he looks <laughs> like, like fucking like uh, Shut the fuck Black up. Bolt. He looks like Black Bolt with he, wings. Yeah, um, and his yeah. his face kind of reminds me of like a Bobby robot from like Dark the seventies, but like um, Dark Hawk. Yeah, Whew. God, that was killing me. That was killing me, dude. All those people in the comments that are like, "Fuck, I gotta delete this now." <laughs> but yeah, they, it, he definitely you love that Dark Hawk. Book into the the trilogy. Uh, with this movie, and, and yeah, I'm some- gonna check it out. There's four movies on HBO I want to watch right now. I want to watch that like R- rich, happy Asians or whatever that is. Like, I don't know what this fucking shit is. Like the oh, the Joe K W story. Yes, the Joe K W story. You- I um, I want to watch None. That's on HBO right now. <laughs> um, what you don't like it, Robert? You don't like the, that series? Like the the what is it? The Conjuring, Robert. He's dead. You killed him. Robert, have you ever watched Robert, have you watched uh Nunya? The Chronicles of Nunya? <laughs> 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 and um what's the third what's the third one? There's another one. Um I'll be yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. But we have like there's another one on HBO right now that I Oh, uh Black Klansman. I wanna watch that. And then oh, 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 yeah. And then we have a Star is Born. Like it's like sitting on the counter. I think Laura's mom bought it and like let us hold it. So like there's four movies I'm trying to watch and I just don't have time to watch them. Black Klansman, that's the one with Adam Driver, right? Uh it's the Spike Lee joint. Yeah, I want to watch that. Yeah, it's well, I gave you my I gave you my login to um to my uh, digital channel. So it's funny you say that. So a, a, a buddy of mine reached out to me and he was like, hey man, here's the code to Glass. You can have it. And I was like, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> uh-huh. And it was funny because he was like, LOL, me neither. That's why I bought it. I don't know what to do with it either. <laughs> just go to well, that Vood- was good actually. <laughs> just go to voodoo.com and just put in the information i gave you i'll give it to you again voodoo.com um, on my tv v-u-d-u do you have a smart tv I th- yeah it's a samsung yeah there's an you app set them back oh, you're not gonna well, get the rest we, of the ones in the queue we might actually have the same tv but um yeah just download the app 
and then put in the information I gave you. I'll send it to you again. All right, I'll have to call you. I'll have to call you to to walk me through it because, like, that's fine. Yeah, that fucking TV irritates the shit out of me. If I turn my DVD player on, my TV will turn on automatically. If I turn my DVD player off because I want to watch TV, my TV will turn off. Like, it's fucking obnoxious. Yeah, I don't even have a DVD player. That's the wave of the future, man. I'm a fucking dinosaur. I get it. Except uh, the TV in our other room have a PS4 hooked up to it. Um, but that's just for games. So, which I'm going to play the fuck out of this Mortal Kombat 11 tomorrow. I'm looking at this, like, because uh, I, I just Googled uh, Darkhawk to make sure that was the right title. And it, um, Marvel announces, there like, some comic book resources link came up and it had a picture of um, Darkhawk and Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, hmm. is, Captain Marvel is looking. Um, Don't get creepy. Voluptuous. Don't get creepy. Exceptionally voluptuous in this in this artwork, which I'm not hating. Um, can, can, can I spoil? Can I spoil? No, no, anything? no, no. It's too close. It's too close. It's it's if it was if it was one week away, I would say go for it. But it's it's literally less than 24 hours. There's one line. There's the less than 24 hours. Things. I will hang I'm up on you. Say it. Yeah, Bobby, are I'm you, not going to say feel... it. But there's one line that fucking kills it for me. We get it. You like dark cock. <laughs> I thought you said dark cock. Um, to the listeners, does anybody listen to No Jumper? It's a podcast. It's pretty good. They, he interviews this guy, Adam22. He interviews, like, a lot of rappers, like, up-and-coming rappers, but he also interviews, like, a lot of porn stars. I listened to, like, a bunch of them yesterday, and uh, some of the porn star interviews were fucking fascinating. Because uh, he doesn't ask, like, them, like you know, like, what happened with your dad? He doesn't ask, like, the stupid, like, fucking mundane questions that fucking everybody else asks. Like, he asks, like... Like how many dicks are you taking? Like, I mean, it doesn't matter. But it's fucking. It's he's a fucking funny dude. So, Bobby, how many times you mention how much you like Dark Hawk? Third party news. Speaking yeah, of speaking third. of taking dick, uh, Shockwave's lab has a Fort Max upgrade with LED lights. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. We used to get so excited that? over this stuff five years ago. Did we? Did we though? Yeah, we did. I don't feel like we did. This is like the kind of shit you can buy at the dollar store now at this point. Yeah. But you're paying $40 for for it from some guy. Yeah, I don't feel like we used to get excited about this type of stuff ever. Yeah, and then Man, Shockwave Lab is fucking killing it these days. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think he wrote that in like marker on a piece of paper on his uh, basement door? Shockwave Lab. I mean, props for doing something constructive, but... Yeah. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Uh, M- what is this MMA thing? Well, my favorite part about this is the comment section when some guys like this is gonna kick my ass. <laughs> it MMA. stands for it stands for metal mobile articulation. Movable. Is this? Yeah, this is yeah, just yeah, a straight yeah. figure. It said movable so. and metal arts. This has my attention. This looks yeah, fucking beautiful. So. Yeah. I don't know much about it. I mean, I was like grabbing, I was grasping at straws. Somebody commented, well, thank God we almost went a week without another new fucking Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right above the comment that was like, this guy's good. Is this guy gonna <laughs> yeah. What the hell is MMA? Are they going to fight me? Yeah. There's some funny That's people it. out there. Um, you in on this, Bobby? I don't know. I need to see more. I need to see more, but I'm not not in. It has my attention. Suddenly. Suddenly Seymour. Suddenly Susan. Suddenly Seymour. Oh, it's this. In the uh, right below that, there's an image of Motormaster screaming face and Motormaster in hand in a car. Looks good to me, man. I don't know. It looks good to me. You see those photos below it? The Motormaster photos? Uh, I'm talking sc- about that, Robert. Let me go scroll on. I'm just saying it's right below it. Robert. Yeah, yeah, it looks fine to me. I mean, head in a bag, that's weird. I wouldn't want to put a bag over his Oh, head. I see. The head is so so in the, well, it looks like it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Is the gray of the head the same gray like of the box? Is it the same gray as the gray looks, on the legs? Looks it to me. It looks okay. like the outline right. is okay. the same gray as the gray on the box around the head, and okay. it's the same gray as the legs. Okay. 
Okay. But There's consistency there. It's just a different color palette. And that's and that, that's what it has in the prototype, like the early like like production images of it as well. Like that that's consistent. That hasn't changed. I don't hate this. Now if the arms just look plain, that might be weird. Yeah, he's that, a, that's what stands out to me. He's a car. All right, anyway, I'm going to go back to that. Let's look at the Shockwave's lab upgrade for Overlord. Let's not. Fresh off yeah, the basement brushes. Light up uh, boobies. What? Really? Let's see this. Light up boobies. Ooh, light up boobies. Mmm. Very nice. I didn't know he had light up boobies in real life. Now, the, the following link, we've seen them all before, but we haven't seen them together yet. The Sonicons, Trans- do, Sonicons. Yeah, I think they look great. Like, yeah, I think they look great too. This is um this is like one of those examples. Like like these are like they're definitely going for tune accuracy, but with all that fucking paint accents and like they fucking they pop. Yeah, but I don't like I don't like drag drag strips shoulders head. Did oh, you say okay. Greg strip? Greg because they only strip. do that once a year. <laughs> Greg strip. Greg strip. Greg strips. Short. I don't like his head. He, he he just doesn't look the same to me. Like uh, the quality doesn't look the same. Maybe the head just... doesn't bother me, but the shoulders look a little weird. Like the joint between the shoulder block and the chest. But like uh, it's easily forgivable. Now he looks like he is an utter. Ju- didn't Justin say that? And now I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but don't a... the other ones? Sh- I don't have them handy. But don't the other other two like don't their shoulders look kind of the same? <laughs> Uh, they might. Uh, I think maybe breakdown more than Wild Rider. Like Wild Rider is a, with the exception of that piece that broke on everybody. Wild Rider is a pretty fucking amazing figure from them. Yeah. I the didn't have any see break up, either, but yeah. Crack, crack up, crack rock, crack rock shoulders look like this. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. Crack rock is is not, a, in my opinion, is not as good looking as Wild Rider, but um, but you know, it's a better. It's it's better built than the fact that it doesn't have those those issues. But yeah, um, I haven't messed with uh, with either of them in probably two months because uh, I'm trying to get like uh, a new display set up, so I have everything kind of boxed up for the most part. Um, so I really don't remember. That's why I asked. You know, what yeah, I think, I think the set of, looks fantastic. You know what I think is kind of wild, Ryder, is uh, the fact that we can have the whole team between two companies. You know, we're going to have that. You're going to have these guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Motor Master is just going to tower over them like children. But he would anyway, right? The extra. No, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's it's going to be too much. It's going to be too much. Wait, isn't the X-Transbots Motor Master going to basically be around the same size as the Fans Toys? (laughs) We don't know. But what we do know is that the Fans Toys one is huge. How much bigger is it than MP10? I think it's the same size. That's weird. I don't know how they pull that off. Can't maybe bigger. It. Maybe bigger. I, I don't know. I haven't seen it next to it. Uh, the truck mode, I think, is the same size. That's crazy. And I think he wears the trailer, the the main trailer part on the back, if I'm not mistaken. And then He's definitely there's wearing the something add-on on back. part. Yeah. Ooh, Generations. Hasbro News, Generations selects Turtler. <laughs> it just sounds like a turd. Oh, I'm turtling. It's coming out. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think oh, this thing looks look at cool. that. Yeah, I think it's cool. It looks like TFC. Isn't that funny? But, I mean, good for them. Yeah. Hopefully they make a whole set. Right, exactly. I hope they knock off the whole TFC set. It's a heavy retool of uh, Hunger. <laughs> no shit. Good for them. It's a heavy retool of Starscream. I'm, I'm happy. For, I'm happy. Like, I know... Uh, uh, that, like I know a lot of like mainline collectors were upset that like certain characters weren't included, like the Predacons and the Terracons and the Seacons, and like they're getting it all. Like good for them. Like I'm 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 legitimately happy for them. Does this I mean, say? Does this say that it combines? Well, I see. I mean, I see a chest piece and a torso piece on its back, so I would assume that they will uh, make the rest of them. Uh, and he's got two back cannons that shoot waffles. <laughs> maple syrup. One shoots maple syrup. One shoots butter. Dude, I would buy that if that was true. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I, I added this just because I thought it was kind of cool. Like, yeah, no, uh, I, agree. I agree. Yeah, that like you don't see him do like uh, obscure 
you know, non-cartoon characters. Uh, they used to. They did with, uh, like, Straxus and, like, stuff like that. But uh, it's been a while since they've done obscure comic book characters. So, um, see Or, later. I guess, Japanese cartoon characters as well. But So, were you going to say something, Bubby? No, 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 no. Well, would you like to have a discussion? I'm, I'm always up for a discussion. Well, what made us the way we are? What? Uh, in terms of collecting? Should, should I lead? Touchy nuns? Um, so, we were talking about... Bobby and I were talking the, uh, the other day about the Scorpion figure. Oh, he takes your calls. Okay. And... Uh, <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying it's my it's my topic, so I thought I would kind of get the ball rolling. Um, I had a cousin give me the Scorpionock or uh, Scorpion uh, with the string tail. It was like from the '70s, and that's actually kind of what got me into the Spider-Man comics. Um, and we've kind of touched on that like tonight, like different things that kind of got us into uh, certain lines or certain, uh, not lines, but franchises and things like that. So, I mean, you know, what, what, what made us nerds and what kept us nerds? I think, um, I'm not exactly sure what kept me. That, that That's something I, I wrestle with. Like in terms of what made me, I, like, it's hard to like psychoanalyze yourself. I I had a I had a traumatic childhood and I think that um I didn't what I didn't have was consistency. Um my dad was extremely consistent and my mom was, you know, a circus. And um you know, I could rely on my father and I felt safe with my father and I couldn't rely on my mother and I didn't feel safe with my mother and yeah. the like these like star Wars and transformers and, you know, comic books later on and all that shit. Like it, it was consistent. And when I was watch the shows, I, I knew exactly the world I was in and it made sense. I don't know why it stuck. Um, Adam turned me on to this thing. that's like this study, like that for boys, most things that they latch on to happen between the ages of five and nine. And okay. it goes for everything like interests, like, you know, people that are like really heavy into sports, like most of them get turned on to sports between the ages of five and nine. Like there's a lot of evidence to suggest like a number of things that you wouldn't well, necess- a- go ahead. No, I was going to say it's a very impressionable yeah. period. Yeah. But like women like tend to be more fluid, like they can kind of continue changing over time. But like men, it's like that period and it just locks in like a fucking pit bull. Who says this? <clears throat> there's like this Adam study. Adam says it, so it's No, it was like it. A, it was like a study done. Like there's a whole fucking thing to it. And there's actually some really fascinating information that relates to sex and stuff with it as well. But like um Man, you might as well be putting that authority on a meme and telling me to believe it. I think anybody can be fluid. Anybody can change at any time if you believe you can. Oh, how many genders do you believe in? Robert? Uh seventy nine? <laughs> Come on, man. You can't believe that you're locked in. You're always it gonna be a certain it, it, that's way. Not, that's not that's not what it said. It just said that often it is. Oh, and, yeah, and, like for, and like you're for and like you're referring me, to a meme. What your what your authority is like a meme. You're like just citing to a study. I'll cite to a study too, I'll make one up. And like for me, like I mean, most of it's true. You Come know, and e- even, even to this day, like like the type of women that I'm attracted to, and like like dark hair, high heels, like tall boots, like and what do these have in common? Like Baroness, Evil Lynn, like you know, like it, it all like it's all consistent. Catwoman, like there's <laughs> Belly J in your youth. <laughs> Come on, man, you got an open mind, you know it. Um, but Come like. On. I don't know. So I, I think that there's an element of that. But to, to me, it's, it, it always comes down to the content. And, like, it's hard for me to get into shit now to a point that I want to collect. But there is shit that pops up, like apes. You know, like, I would go in on apes. Uh, I would go in on Game of Thrones if, like, there was something that looked like it was really high quality. Um, but, like, the, the, the material has to be so over the top 
like, you know, Game of Thrones is something that people are talking about. Like, it's the greatest show of all time. Like, it has to be almost of that caliber to make me that interested anymore. Otherwise, are it's you, pretty much the same shit that like, locked into me from five to nine. Do you feel that way about Game of Thrones? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't feel it's the greatest show of all time, but I mean, I put in my top five. That'd be an interesting conversation. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that Battle of the Bastards is still one of the best fights. Absolutely. Ever seen. Dude. It's up there with like the fight scene with the storming the beach and saving Private Ryan. Next week's episode, feel. I literally Look. can't wait mm-hmm. for. Oh, yeah. The, la- the next five, it's all a big fight. This is it. But next week in particular, like. I, I think. I, there's going to think... be some more build up episodes. It's not going to be nonstop battle from here to the end. But next week's episode is going to be nonstop battle. Yeah, because you know what's going to happen. All these people, anyone that you see, you're becoming emotionally invested in and like their story arc's ending, they're probably getting killed. I mean, that's the Game of Thrones way, even if their and story arc isn't gonna, ending. And then they're wow. going to become whites. Then they're going to become whites. They're going to become... Dude, you, know, you, you are know. such a New Yorker. If I... <laughs> if I Gentrification. <laughs> Gentrification of the army. If I owned a pink and yellow tank top, I would stand in a parking lot and call you guys nerds. Let me ask you this: Did did the sex scene with Arya make you uncomfortable? Um, there was a point in my mind where I had to say, "How old is this actress?" Yeah, me too. Um, because like they were being coy with it. Do you know what I mean? Like showing just enough here and just enough there, and like as that started to happen, I said to myself, "Wait a minute, how old is this girl?" Yeah, and and then she's. Just, an adult, so I was like, "All right, it gets, you, you know." know I, it's well, that's a th- that's a thing they do in shows, and like that's been a big uh, deal with a couple of different franchises, like Walking Dead and a couple other things, and people are getting up in arms about it. But they wouldn't put it on television, you know, if right. it wasn't up and up. Right, right, exactly, exactly. I, I, there's a lot of you know, speculation, like how could they be hiding the, the women and children in the crypt if the uh, Night King could just raise the dead? I don't think the Night King can raise somebody from the dead unless he or one of his undead have killed you. Or, or maybe at least come in contact. You know what I mean? I right. don't think it's like it's like a mystical, magical power. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. he could just go around raising all the dead under the, in the ground. Correct. Everywhere. Correct. That's, Correct. He's not. that's the White Walker guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, I've read about Game of Thrones. I just haven't watched it. Yeah, but you, yeah, you would love it. it. Have you, you read, read it or read about it? Greg? Read about uh, it. I was going to read the books when they're done. You would love I, it, Greg. You would fucking love it. Because I think that dude doesn't look. Well, he's very healthy, and I don't want to get invested in a book series <laughs> like that, and then it never finish. But um, there's something. Yeah. There's something from, things from the book I wish they had included, and I guess I can understand why they just didn't have the space for it. But, like, why was the Red Woman trying to burn royalty? You know, like, there was, like, there was something tying in in the, in the books. And I think Martin said he was going to finish the story in the written form. Um, and it might be different than the TV. Um, but, like, okay, the, the Daenerys' dragons are born when Cal Drogo is burned, right? And her eggs are in the fire. That's how you birth dragons, So um, in the books, as I recall, the red woman had a dragon's egg with what's his face, uh, Baratheon's uh, brother, and they were trying to hatch an egg. But I I, that never came to fruition in the show. She just came off as a crazy lady burning royalty. Anyone with royal blood. Why don't you suck an egg, Robert? I know. But it was a cool story arc that I wish they, you know, came along. I, I'm not, you know, but whatever. I, it's it's really great. I, I really love the show. I it's love really it. really well done, and I can't wait till they tackle Star Wars. It's like, I can't help it. It's all I think about. Like, every time I watch a show, I'm like, oh, they're getting better and better. Star Wars is going to be so good. There's another series that's going to be coming out. It predated Martin, and it's uh, from Robert Jordan. He wrote the Conan novels back in the 70s and 80s. Um, uh, and uh, he wrote a story, 13 books called the wheel of time and it's finally getting like a a t because they they're trying to find the next game of thrones and uh that's going to be really interesting it, that's actually it ties back to the discussion question you know what made us who we are when i when i was like <clears throat> like you know junior high school going into high school my dad well my dad was always into reading he read a lot of sci-fi and like fantasy novels and i just like the artwork on the covers so 
you know, I started, I think the first thing I read was a wrinkle in time because the cover had a really cool wing. Yeah, it was great. On it, you know, and it, and then I, I read up here's Anthony, the land of Xanth series is all about puns. I heard the like wrinkle Matt, in time movies trash though. It's garbage. It's, it's garbage. It's trash. It's total trash. And, um, you know, um, but yeah, that, that definitely had influence on me, but reading like story storylines that went on for a very long time, like the wheel of time I began reading in my freshman year in high school and it didn't finish until my second year in law school, you know, and it was a very long, long story. Um, so a lot of things resonated, but I mean, you know, can I say a certain thing locked me into a certain personality trait, like made me who I am at a certain age? I think perhaps there are certain themes, right, for people in terms of general morality, right, and ethics. There are certain themes and tropes that just like chord progressions in music, they are copied as templates, so perhaps you heard, you know, perhaps you read a story or were exposed to a story, be it in a movie and a comic at a certain age. It's the first time you could appreciate a theme, a certain given theme, and it's presented to you in a format that resonated with you. So you're you you you, you jived with that with that theme and you're associating with it, you know, and perhaps that lends to us associating with whatever the format was, be it a cartoon or a comic, a, a characters or whatnot. But in reality, what we're attaching to are maybe our innate, you know, attraction to certain themes, I, I think. Maybe. Or just boots and heels and dark hair. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if Bailey J had a hot toys. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Maybe. Maybe. Um, let's tackle this one question. Before we get out of here, he said, I'm sure you all probably have some amusing responses to this one. So I thought I would ask when each of you were kids, what was the worst tantrum you threw out in public? And was the desire for a toy your parents were getting you involved? Thoughts and prayers, TJ. What's TJ is this? Uh, I, be I believe it's the TJ we often hear from. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Greg, do you have a tantrum that you recall? Um, I don't recall throwing a tantrum. Um, I do remember crying one time on KB Toys when I was like six. Um, I wanted a figure and I was with my sister and I couldn't bring myself to ask her to buy it for me. And it made me super emotional and I cried. Um, but I don't think I ever threw a tantrum. Gotcha. To be honest. Robert? I didn't throw tantrums. I was a softy. I was, was a clingy kid. You know, I just followed my mom around like a puppy. I got lost a couple times, and that's when I like, got really scared. But I never threw a tantrum. So if I couldn't have something, you know, she would say no. And I would be like, okay. And I'd be sad, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't freak out and yell and throw a fit. I wouldn't do that. You know, <clears throat> so I asked my dad this question one time, like uh, if I ever threw a tantrum or did any of that business. And his answer, he looked at me and he said, once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you only have and eight toes. I, and I, I knew exactly what that meant. Um. You didn't throw a tantrum, but you threw a gun out the window once on a highway. Uh, it wasn't a gun. It was a missile from the Batmobile. <laughs> um, let me see if I can get – we got one more. We can squeeze it in. There's in probably an MP Ledger question, but okay, like I said, I'm still locked out of the, the Gmail. And, uh, <clears throat> let me check that real I quick. I really don't want to lock us all out. Let me so. check that real quick. And yeah. if we can get that one, then we'll call it – oh, we got two. We got a few in email. Let's yeah. just do the last question. Let's do uh, MP Collector Damien. said, I just finished reading IDW's Unicron storyline. Did you guys do this one? So I, I said, think so. I just finished reading IDW's Unicron storyline. I was wondering what you all thought of it. I was underwhelmed personally, but what says the SCU crew? Would any of you rank it within the top 10 IDW Transformer stories? I haven't read it. I agree with uh, MP Collector. I was underwhelmed. Yeah, I do as well. I was very, uh, I was underwhelmed. I liked the way it worked out at the end. But it was also a very classic Transformers trope. 
Uh, it was a little too primey for me. Um, but yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot better. Gotcha. Um, and then this last, well, let me just get this other one out of the email and then we'll at least be caught up there. It was, uh, what do you do when collecting becomes stale? Venture into phase life, a different scale, focus on display or walk away from it. I feel like I collect certain lines out of habit or buy a figure because I don't want to deal with the secondary market. Congrats mm-hmm. deluxe on the statue. Best or Maji case territory for the display. Thanks guys, Jerry. Um, I, I think that w- when it becomes stale, I think I start working heavily on the display element. I think that's what I rely on because because I I started to get to that point of like this is what it's going to be like when I'm finished, which may or may not be a fucking joke, but um, you know, and once it's finished, you know, uh, my my main focus will be like making it look like I want it to look to feel right, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, you go. Robert. You go. I've noticed. So many, when you piece of shit, so many <laughs> many people have come have, uh, are dealing with this issue. I've noticed nowadays. It is, several people are posting questions like, "Is it just me, or are you, are you getting frustrated? Are you feeling suffocated? Are you not having fun with it?" I've seen a few people post about this stuff. Um, and, you know, I, this has come up. We've talked about it before. You know, I, I was even talking to Matt about this yesterday, you know, because Matt was like, why don't you want to just put all your figures on your shelves like I do? Why not? And I was like, Matt, here's a picture. And I sent him a picture of my Autobot shelf. And you can't fucking see anything. You know, it's just a smush of shit. Right. And I'm like, there's some good figures in there and I can't appreciate them. You know, and and I was like, you know what, Matt, three years ago, three years ago, I was in a golden age of collecting. And you know why I was having so much fun? He's like, why? And I'm like, because I didn't have as many. I was still I still had empty space to fill, you know, so the stuff that was on my shelves could be displayed. You had more room to grow, more room to appreciate. I'm in a dark room. I need all the light I can get. And, and you know, as, as they got more crowded, the joy went down. And it's just the, it's a sense of just frustration and boredom and a weight. So that's why I started taking stuff off the shelves. I'm like, you know what? I'm only going to put the stuff on there that I want to look at right. and appreciate it. And I feel better looking at this stuff. You know, but it, I think so. The, I think display is a way to go, and maybe learn a lesson from it. And in moving forward, you if if it's bothering you, if you're crowded and you can't appreciate the stuff that you have, then just be pickier with the stuff you pick up. Don't crowd your shelves. Don't be a completionist if you don't have the real estate to accommodate properly a complete collection. And maybe a completionist approach. Doesn't you know you're you're going for the complete angle, but maybe not the quality angle, right? And that shows when you look at it, and that takes away from your happiness. Greg, I, I think you said it well. Greg, yeah, I I, I noticed that. And also, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucker! Um, I noticed that, and I've been called out on this before. Several times, Bobby being one of them, when there wasn't something that I wanted, I would just buy something just to have something coming in. And I'd always end up selling it. So I just, I just want to get my G1 collection seasons one through three. Uh, movie wise, I don't care about runabout, run amok, and all that shit. Um, I just want to have it done and just call it a day. But uh, I find when I try to focus on um, just collecting that I end up wasting money. So when there's not something I want, I pay a bill, you know. I don't, I don't waste that money anymore. Granted, I, I, I did waste some money. Um, I did buy that weathered yellow constructor. 
uh, and I kind of regret it, but Kit wanted me to buy it, so I bought it. But um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting better about that these days. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. And with that, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, hey, actually, before you leave, uh-huh. Robert, can I ask you a question? No. And my personal favorite, the well-established gentleman's show, Stasis Lock. At Real Robot and Fear Corps. I am Ratchet. Third party TF Crashers and Open Your Toys Podcast. This podcast is intended for maturity. This is a 